Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the records in Salesforce using Salesforce Connector. I will switch to AnyPoint Studio. I will create a new Mule project. File, new Mule project. I will give the name update record in Salesforce. I will click finish. From Mule Palette, I will drag HTTP listener. I will add connector configuration. I will keep this configuration value to default. I will give the path slash update. Now I will drag transform message component. I will change the format to JSON. Salesforce update method takes array. So I will start with array. Now I will map the payload that will be sent to this resource. ID payload dot id account number hello dot account number name hello dot name Billing city, hello dot billing city, billing state, hello dot Billing state annual revenue payload dot annual revenue. Colon after annual revenue. Now I will add the Salesforce connector to the project. I will click add module. Click the Salesforce and drag it here. I will keep the version 10.13.3. Click add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find the Salesforce connector in your palette, you might need to import from Exchange. I have created a video how to import module from the Salesforce. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in the description. Now I will drag the Salesforce connectors update method to the flow. I will add the connector configuration, click plus sign. To interact with the Salesforce, we need to choose the authentication option. Here are the authentication options. We need to choose one of these options to connect to the Salesforce. In this demo, I will use the basic authentication. Basic authentication requires username, password, and security token. To get the username, password, and security token, we need to create a developer accounts in Salesforce. You can create the developer account by using this URL. I have already created a developer account. I already have the username and security token and password. I will use my username, password and security token 
for basic authentication. This is my username. I will copy the security token from here. Paste it here. Now I will add my password. Click OK. Now any point studio will retrieve the metadata from the Salesforce and will populate the types here. Okay, types has been populated. We will update the account record. So we'll select account as a type. I will add now transform message component and change the format to JSON. This will change the result of the Salesforce update method in JSON format. I will save the project, right click, run the project. While this is being deployed, I will log into the Salesforce. I will enter my user password. Click login. I will go to the service, click account, I will change the list view, I will click new this week. Now we will update the this test 5 record, to update this record we need the ID, so I will click on this record. An ID we can find in this URL. So I will copy this ID after account slash control C. Go back, refresh it. Now we'll go back to the console. Our application has been deployed. I will clear the console. Now I will invoke this resource. I will go to the postman. Our resource name is update. I will use the post method. I will send the body raw and type will be JSON. I will send the request payload in JSON format. Here we need to build the request payload. We will send ID. The ID just copied from the Salesforce. This one. We will use this ID. Account number. We will give account number 1000. Name. We'll keep the name same, so I'll copy the name from there. Go to the new this week list. 
we want to change the test five record copy the name we'll change the willing city will be the value pune we will change the billing state give the value ma we will change the phone we will change the annual revenue we will give the annual revenue 45 lakh so let's observe what we have right now in the account we don't have account number we have account name we don't have billing city billing state we have this phone number and we do not have annual revenue let's replace one more time now i will go to the postman i will send this request to update resource click send we got some issue unexpected character it payload let me check the payload okay we need to have a comma here and we need to have comma here now let me send the request again we got the result and we got a successful true let's go back to salesforce refresh the account okay we got this record we have 1000 account number test file is same we got billing city pune we got billing state ami maharashtra we got the phone number our phone number has not been updated we need to check this and we got the revenue annual revenue 45 lakhs let's check the phone number what is wrong in phone number so we are sending this phone number let me go to the script okay we don't have phone number here we need to add phone number phone hello dot phone so now this will be sent to salesforce i'll save it now it will redeployed okay application has been redeployed let's go back to the postman now we should see this phone number let's update again click send button successful true let's go back to salesforce right now we have this phone number for test file this should have been changed click refresh okay phone number has been changed this is the phone number that we are sending from the postman let's go back to postman so this is the one we are sending so this is how we can update the records in salesforce you can use salesforce connectors update method to update the records in salesforce this is all in this video i hope you understood how to update the records in salesforce if you like this video click like button and subscribe the channel thank you thanks for watching